Two words, uh, Croft. Carmichael Hunt. <laughs> I did head out to Craigie Byrne yesterday, Bill, and uh, had a look at him run around. I think the positive out of it all mm -hmm. is he got a match under his belt. So right. uh, he's going to learn a lot. He needs uh, plenty more games before the end of the season. Obviously, his fitness is a worry, but I think it's more about just understanding the game. Um, and uh, he didn't do a lot. He kicked a couple of goals, a few uh, charity goals, really. One over the top. Uh, here's a tackle that he laid. He had a shot on goal with his first very, uh, kick. It was a bit windy, so uh, in fairness to him, conditions weren't perfect uh, for your kicking skills to be on display. And there was a bit of pressure on him. Here he is. This is his first goal. Uh, and then he got a free kick after that. And then he had a, another shot, kicks two goals within uh, five seconds. And then all of a sudden, uh, that was pretty much it for the day. So a real positive that he got a game under his belt, Damo. Um, but wasn't uh, amazing and I've got a lot of work ahead of him. Needs to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with uh, a specialised coach. Crawf, I notice you've written a, an article today in the Herald Sun. You've given him a 38 out of 100. Do you think we're going easy on him? We're going light on him there? I, I was pretty light on him, yeah, because I think the real uh, positive, as I, have, I've said, was just getting out there and having a, a bit of a run around. So uh, you've got to understand the game. There are players he hasn't played with before. Uh, he hasn't played since he was a kid. He's gone from uh, Crawf, the NRL Crawf, to stop. the rugby you, you union. Don't him, you don't rate him, you don't rate this experiment oh, by the AFL, oh, do you? Oh. Oh, oh, Damo. Damo. You don't. I, I can read into this article, well, very nicely put together, but it's yeah, lip service, Crawford, very and it's, good. it's a gimmick, isn't it? No, 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 I'm all That's forward. what you think it is. I'm looking uh, forward to him hopefully coming on and playing in the AFL system. He has so much work ahead of him from what I saw yeah. yesterday. I rocked up to Craigie Burr and there was a line 150 metres long. Um, I was a part of that, so they got the crowd there. That's fine, but he... And I think the crowd walked away a bit disappointed with what they saw. Yeah. Can you can't quite... judge him on yesterday, but is he any chance at all of having a successful AFL career? I think so. I think uh, he's obviously going to have to have a, a mind who's with him 100% of the time, helping him through it. What's uh, he got to work on? Everything. Well, everything? Everything, yeah. Mm. Understanding our game's the biggest thing. So he's got thing. nothing at the moment? Shorts are too well, big. Well, no, too. he obviously has... Uh, his tackling's a, a feature from his point of view, but you've got to have uh, the skill level, which he obviously doesn't have. I didn't see enough of him with the ball to work out whether or not he was any good under pressure uh, with his kicking. And um, in fairness to him, it was windy conditions, first game. He just needs to play for the rest of the year and just understand our game because it's a hard game to work out. You work quite hard him in the paper here. You read the paper and in the article here it says he's the $3 million man with a $3 drop punt. That's a bit... That's a bit rough. That wasn't Shane. Shane. Well, no, I didn't say that. No, oh, I would have said three article. cents, really, it's after what I saw. But no, I, I think we're being a bit harsh. And I, I'm not someone who really wants to uh, pull out a big bat and whack him over the head. Well, you did it, I think it's great the AFL are having a crack at this. Um, but in saying that, you know, I don't think he's a walk-up start to play next year on what I saw yesterday. Press conference after the game. Let's have a listen. No, no, I wanted to play as long as I could, but my body just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go with me. Um, you know, I normally cramp. Uh, you know, when I was playing league and rugby union, but obviously there's a lot more running in AFL, and uh, you know, towards the end of that third quarter, I just locked up and and couldn't do much more. So I was no use to the team out there. I, I used to take salt tablets, um, you know, before the matches, and today I didn't have any. So I'm sure, you know, that will help me out. But along with, uh, you know, getting used to the the running load, um, you know, I'll, I'll be fine. In terms of structure, and that I, I sort of struggled a bit knowing where to be and and. Um, and what to do at times, but um, overall, I thought you know I wasn't going too bad out there. But I'm sure Blue and that would tell me otherwise, and you know that's why it was good to get out there and finally, um, you know, just play so the coaches can uh, you know help me improve. Better for the run, I would have thought.